Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 23rd of December. So your Christmas horoscope for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Now, of course, late last week, the Sun made its way into the sign of Capricorn, which it does at this time of the year, every year. But what makes this a particularly special week is the Sun is going to be combining with Jupiter, the planet of growth. And on Thursday, we have a solar eclipse in conjunction with Jupiter, and both are also angling brilliantly to Uranus, the planet of surprises, the planet of innovation in the sign of Taurus. So this can be quite a week. It can be a week where we can start to crystallize ideas that we've had in a more tangible way, or perhaps we're gonna bring in more innovation and fresh approaches. But I do feel, because of the Capricornian energy, this could be a time when we manifest something that's potentially been really limited through the energy of Saturn over the last couple of years, but principally over the last six or seven months as it's inched closer to Pluto. Now, of course, they are, as this month comes to a close, getting much, much tighter together. In fact, it's going to be one degree by the end of this week and so in some ways that is going to be uh, potentially popping the rivets on some issues but I think Jupiter could be a game changer here it's bringing a sense of expansion okay it's in full in the sign of Capricorn but I think what it does is it moderates the restrictive energies of Saturn because Jupiter is expansive but the Capricorn energy makes Jupiter more sensible so we get an earthier approach to what we want to expand upon so depending on where this conjunction on this solar eclipse occurs in your particular zodiac sign then that's where the action is going to be over the next six months on the back of this lunation now also uh, this week, we're going to see a semi-sextile between Mercury and Mars. And on Christmas Day itself, Mercury is going to be combining with the Moon in Sagittarius. So that's an interesting combination, isn't it? That should make us all jolly and upbeat. It's going to be important not to sort of be too blurty. We need to think before we speak with that combination. But also, uh, I feel that Venus is square to Uranus, Venus in Aquarius on Monday and Tuesday, could see for some lucky folks a, a surprise attraction, a, a clinch under the mistletoe, or it could mean that something that's been kept quiet in a relationship could explode to the surface and there could be some kind of irritation on the better end of the scale. At the worst end of the scale, it could be that someone wants to break out of a relationship, obviously at the worst point of the whole year, if it just isn't working for them anymore. So we do need to be mindful of that. And then as the week draws to a close, we do have Mercury moving on Sunday into the sign of Capricorn too. And of course, because of the angle it's also going to fall to Uranus this gives you gives us a great opportunity to be quite inventive when we're thinking about those new year's resolutions but I want to wish you a very happy Christmas and please enjoy the rest of your forecast your specific forecast Leo suggests that you can start to feel a lot more energized and enthusiastic than perhaps you've done for a little while Part of the reason for this, even that this is Christmas week, is that Jupiter is combining with the Sun. This is the first time for 12 years this has happened in this part of your situation. So it's fortifying your physical uh, being, but also your enthusiasm. And if there are responsibilities and obligations to take on, as there often are at this time of year, you can just seem to be a bit more philosophical about it. But there is still a chance that you can be thinking about the bigger picture in your situation, and especially as far as your work is concerned. Some 
conversations can happen over this week which can give you real food for thought. Perhaps you yourself are going to have a brainwave or perhaps someone that you encounter at a Christmas function is going to have some interesting information to share with you. On Christmas Day itself, there's a glorious alliance between the moon and also uh, Mercury in the sign of Sagittarius. That's quite a jolly combination. Mercury is also in a very productive link with Mars this week. So if you do need to be busy getting those last minute things done, I think you're going to have a lot more energy in order to deal with this. But romantically, with Venus in a clash with Uranus on Monday and Tuesday, if you are single, then it is entirely possible that someone new can capture your imag imagination. This could be fleeting, but it, if it is, it will certainly give your confidence a boost. In an existing relationship, I think both you and your partner need to be able to flex and respond to perhaps something that happens this week that's a bit different. Um, and if you can do that, all the better. But of course, we do have a solar eclipse this week on Thursday. And if you are wanting to change your work and your basic structure of your life will get a lot fitter in 2020, this is certainly a wonderful combination. Mercury moves on the last day of this week and that can also help you to just focus on the details of things, perhaps also on the opportunities that the winter sales are going to be throwing up for us all. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.